Memorization and recall is a perishable skill. Uh, people forget the names of uh, childhood friends that they spent years with and grew up with. They forget faces, they forget places, they forget dates, even very important ones. People forget information that they spent years studying in advanced schooling, uh, and, and they have a difficult time recalling it unless they use that information with regularity uh, and with frequency. Memorized stack decks uh, are very good for the practitioner that spends their time in that and they use it with regularity. This presents problems for the common magician like myself, uh, the hobbyist that uh, does not perform with a great deal of regularity but does have an interest in using memorized uh, stacks for their magic. Likewise, average people have a difficult time with basic math facts. This can be problematic uh, for the magician that is working with sequential stacks that may require some basic math in order to calculate positions uh, and locations. I wanted a stack that I could learn quickly, I could recall efficiently, uh, that I could do so without using it with regularity, that I could depend on some basic principles that I could easily call on, and if I did get stuck, I could rely on those principles to get me uh, out of a tight spot. This is what I've come up with. It is the common stack. We're going to spend some time looking uh, very closely in depth at this stack, which is intended for memorization and recall. I'm going to show you uh, how and why this stack is put together the way that it is. In education, as we learn information, it is important to learn information not just one way, but to understand a variety of different avenues that you can approach that information from. As I teach this stack, I'm going to bring up every single piece of information that I can think of that will help you to remember uh, these cards for their positions. We're going to spend some time uh, breaking down the stack into uh, systematic parts that can be remembered uh, as groupings. And uh, by memorizing these groupings and the sort of rules and algorithms that make the groups work, uh, a person can think of a card by value and suit and come up with a number uh, that that card can be located at and vice versa. We're also going to take the time to look at a number of effects that can be performed with this stack, uh, effects that are fairly generic that can be performed with any stack, and also we'll look at a number of effects that only work with this particular stack. Additionally, I'll be teaching you some mechanical alterations that you can make to the deck uh, that will help you to acquire the position of any card very quickly and secretly without uh, any strange moves or, or being noticed. As a bonus, we'll look at uh, some other related uh, ideas uh, that we'll be using with this stack that can be used in a variety of other effects that uh, you can use to amaze anybody. This is the common stand.